It's a fascinating place that just oozes history. The whole world comes to Locke. Y'all come now, stay, okay? I do ghost tours. Three different countries of origin. So when you just read the top two or three Google rating things, take it with a grain of salt. This week, I find myself somewhere between Sacramento and San Francisco in a historic little place known as the Locke Historic District in what was once known as California's Monte Carlo, a place that was home to opium dens, gambling houses, brothels, bars, you name it. This area was originally settled by the Miwok Indian tribe and there's much evidence of their existence still in this area. I'm told there are burial mounds nearby, which just adds to the lore of this town. But the Miwok Indian tribe were the first to settle in this area. For 1,600 years, this was a Native American, Native Americans lived all over the Delta, and they had, a, they've even got their burial grounds right on the, what is the George Locke parcel. And uh, this is a picture of George W. Locke. I found oh, wow. that through Ancestry.com. Oh, and George W. Locke, there's yeah, the man was, himself. He was the guy that got his name on the deed, but they were here first. Well, yeah. And they need a monument or a plaque. This is some of the documentation that I've made copies of from libraries and the recorder's office and uh, census records. So you're kind of the, uh, the, the uh, de facto I'm, town historian. Everybody in this town is a historian. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of awesome. How many people live here? 66 on a good night. <laughs> <laughs> this was private space, even though they had a post office and a constable, it was a private piece of land, so many rules did not apply, and this place was just full of debauchery, hence the name California's Monte Carlo. And quite honestly, you can see why many people of many different walks of life would frequent this area, many times on their way to or from Sacramento or San Francisco, but many times just to enjoy the loose atmosphere and bit of lawlessness. I think George W. Locke took the initiative after the Native Americans were so here who, for 1600 years. Well, of course, yeah, he, he developed the land first, but who approached who? Uh, I, as I understand it, there was a, a fire. The sign said there was a fire on October 7th of 1915 in Walnut Grove, a half a mile from here. And the new laminated signage that went up in the newly renovated boarding house that was turned into a state park museum in about 2007 or eight, when they opened it up, they put up a new sign and it said history of luck two Chinese mer merchants approached George W. Locke after the 1915 fire in Walnut Grove and asked for his permission to build their town on his land. August 20, 1909, which was six years prior to that fire in Walnut Grove, mm -hmm. and it, I pointed out, how can you say this on this new laminated sign for everybody to see that two Merchants approached George W. Locke after the 1915 fire when George W. Locke succumbs to death in the San Francisco Call newspaper, 1909. That's six years before. How? Do, wow. And so I said that to Martha, the board. I know. I had no idea. Well, neither d had anybody else, and most people today, all but a few. A handful of people. Look at you. I'm so proud no. of you. Well, no, that's really I, cool. I really that took think, a lot of sleuthing. Well, I'm I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by finding historic documents, and and I find it fascinating to go and find stuff. This is the 1930 Census of Locke, California. 1930. It's nine pages long. 
There's 550 people living or in it, and they are from 23 countries of origin in 1930. Wow. It was not exclusively one culture of folks. It, they were from all around the world. And according to the numbers of people listed here, there were more people from Spain and Russia than anywhere else. Is it, as, as it stands now, it's, it's considered the only Chinese built town in the United States. Who's that considered by? <laughs> on, the, on the website for the parts the department and Google everything. The top Google ratings, the top, yeah. top three Google. Well, yeah, no, Whatever I mean, rises on, to the top, that's that the, doesn't make it history. Yeah, that's on history. the Parks Department website, too. Well, that's because people don't want to do the work to actually go to libraries and recorders' offices and uh, look through microfiche yeah. to scroll for hit primary source documents. They just want to read what, what rises to the top of the Google stuff. Well, you know, the because, uh, and then do the copy paste, copy paste revisionist history. I'm sorry, it's, well, it's you gotta look, if you're gonna tell the truth about history, you well, see, gotta go some people back. Might, some people might say you're the revisionist because they already know they, the history. Well, right, and, and I've heard that too. Yes, <laughs> I have heard that too. <laughs> Yeah. But we're just... But I've got the documents <laughs> to show them where exactly. I learned it. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It does a lot to grow this channel and the dream that is the Vic Meyer Show. Much love. The whole world comes to life. I don't have to travel anymore because everybody comes here from around the world. I have the bed and breakfast. You all come now. Stay, okay? Oh, I would love to. <laughs> I'm told there's quite a bit of supernatural activity around here from the early inhabitants of the Miwok tribe to the inhabitants of this crazy town. I do ghost tours. Yeah? You gotta bring your own gadgets though. Giz <laughs> gizmos and gadgets, but I know where everybody died. If you'd like to see me come back, stay the night, maybe investigate the paranormal side of things, I'm up for that too. Let me know in the comments. I'm a painter, an artist, and uh, when I first came to the town back in 1990 or 1989, I think was my first uh, ride on the back of a motorcycle down into the town. And I saw the buildings and I thought, wow, I want to come back here and paint pictures. It looks like an old West movie set. You know? Much, Martha. I really appreciate you taking time to share the history of this town with me. Thank Walk you. me around a little bit. Show your passion for cars. We oh, know, we obviously yeah. saw that. Cool cars. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love old stuff. And you're obviously <laughs> a very talented painter too. This is your artwork of George Locke. Yeah. The somewhat founder of the area, if you don't count the Miwoks. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> they were here first. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Martha. Thank I you really very appreciate much. your time, and I really had a great time. Please come back. And oh, I, I can't stay wait. Stay upstairs and video up there. I can't wait. We're mm. gonna go on a little go bit of a ghost hunt. Go in the historic bathtub too. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Martha. You're welcome. Thank you. you. Built with foundations um, because I think they meant it to be a temporary place. You can see how the side of the building goes down and then up again. Ghosty. Ghosty. Are you down here? We're looking for a ghost. No, I'm not down here. <laughs> Are you back here? Yeah, I'm right here. Can't you see me? No, I can't see you. You're a ghost. Oh, you're already sitting down. Good job now, all right? I always do. Yes, you do. Well, how lucky am I? You know, if you just get out, walk around, talk to people, you will find the most amazing people and find out the most amazing facts. And with that, I am absolutely famished. It's been a long day of traveling and shooting and I need something to eat. So we're gonna dip in here to Al the, well, let's call it Al's. Grab a little bite to eat. The, uh, the longest continuously operated business in the entire town. 1936, I believe. Right? 1934. I stand corrected. Thank you very much. 1934, and this is Al's place. After a long 
long day. It's much earned. And that's Al's place, the longest standing business in all of Locke Historic District since 1934. And man, I cannot wait to come back and spend some time here in this lovely place. So remember to keep it between the lines. Look out for Smokey because they're looking out for you. And as always, thank you for allowing me to entertain you. Presumably, this is the Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. See you next week. Summoning ghosty for us, Martha. Oh, you're welcome. All you gotta do is turn around this corner and come down this little gravel road and look at this place. We're gonna take advantage of a night out on the town, and we're not gonna spend a dollar. Okay, let's go. I hope you appreciate what I do to dig up the truth, to dig up the facts as we find them through historical documents, records, newspaper articles, and all that sort of thing. But through those methods is how you build a story and how you tell the history of a place like Locke Historic District right here in California. Just a very fascinating place that I will definitely be back to investigate more of in the near future. So stay tuned. And I hope you enjoyed this visit through Locke Historic District.